I think it's a bad idea for councils to cut any libraries because all libraries are important and all libraries are treasure houses that should be looked after and protected. Um, they're mostly important for children, of course. Um, that's not to say they're unimportant for anyone. They're important for all ages of, of society. But children especially are the people who can be um, nurtured into a, into a love for books in libraries, which they don't easily find anywhere else. If, uh, if the home isn't a bookish home, if there aren't many books there, if there isn't the habit of reading at home, uh, libraries can help to engender that. If school, if the school they go to is a, one of those unfortunate ones that hasn't really got the message and is still trying to teach children to jump through hoops and that's it, um, and to regard pieces of prose as uh, examples of uh, numbers of adjectives which have to be underlined or substituted for other adjectives or something, silly things like that, then they won't get it from school. Library is the only place they can get the love of books that will engender a lifetime's love of reading. And why is this important? It's important because that's the fundamental thing that makes us um, civilised, I think, civilised human beings. Uh, we can seem to be civilised on the outside, we can seem to be healthy on the outside. Um, children can be seen to can seem on the outside to be free of bruises, free of cuts, free of um, hunger, all that sort of thing. And yet on the inside, because they don't know books and they don't know the, the wonderful treasury of reading that there is, they are missing a dimension of delight, of enchantment, which uh, is such an important thing in the lives of all of us. You've just been to see... It's a Rise Library, which was opened by Mark Twain in 1900. Um, do you have any comments about that particular case and Kensal Rise Library? Yes, it's obviously a great cultural monument, and any council seeking to shut that particular library down because of its history uh, should really be ashamed of themselves. They should be made to stand in penance with their heads bared in the rain outside it for several hours because they simply don't know what they've got in there. They don't know what they're, what, they, what they're looking after. They don't know what they're responsible for. They've missed the point somehow. Mark Twain, one of my favourite authors, one of the greatest authors of the, in, in the history of literature, an enormously witty and wise man, um, opened this library, what, 100 years ago? A little bit more than 100 years ago. It should be a national monument. It shouldn't be something that's just an inconvenience for the council that they can close down at their will. That's quite the wrong way to, to, to look at it. I was very pleased to go there today and very... Um, Honoured to stand next to the plaque that spoke of Mark Twain opening the library.